Welcome to another edition of the Sundown Series, where today I will be talking about Whiting, Indiana. What a fitting name. Now, I highly doubt that this place was named after the fish, Whiting. Now, as what's crazy is last week, I kind of spoiled where I was going with the next one, the next town in Indiana, when I was talking about a place called White County, Indiana. So, let's get into it. Whiting is a city located in the Chicago metropolitan area in Lake County, Indiana, which was founded in 1889. The city is located on the southern shore of Lake Michigan. It is roughly 16 miles from the Chicago Loop and two miles from Chicago's south side. Whiting is home to Whiting Refinery, the largest oil refinery in the Midwest. The population was 4,997 at the 2000 census. Notice they said was, so that means that it has either gone up or gone down since then. A post office was first established at Whiting in 1871. Whiting was incorporated in 1895. It was named after a train man who was killed in a crash there. Whiting was once a sundown town that prohibited African Americans from entering the city. Now, what's interesting is, is that you have some sundown towns where you could enter the city, but you had to be out by a certain time. But then you also had some sundown towns that just didn't let you come into the city at all. And that, to me, sounds like what was going on at one time with Whiting. Like I said, the name speaks for itself. Uh, the Hoosier Theater Building and Whiting Memorial Community House are listed in the National Register of Historic Places. So I told you that the demographic of Whiting in 2010 was 4,997. And as of 2019, it's 4,765. So it has decreased almost 5%. Their highest form of, I guess you can say population size, was back in 1930 when their population was 10,880 people. And it's been declining ever since. Let's see, what is it looking like demographic rise race wise? Okay, this is the racial make of the city was 76.3% white. And you know what's so crazy? That's actually the lowest amount of white people in a city that I've talked about so far. Every other city was over 90%. And this one is at 76.3%. African American is 0.7%. Native American is 0.7%. Asians is 15.7. That's the highest Asian population I've heard so far for this city. Other races are 3.2. And Hispanic or Latino of any race is 40.7% of the population. So that pretty much lets you know that is a lot of Hispanics and Latinos that currently reside in this uh, town, which is why the white population is so low for its own standards. It makes you wonder what the population is going to look like for them uh, for just that demographic. When I say when I'm talking about white people, just that demographic probably within the next five years, because 40%, that's a high population for Hispanics for a town that was once a sundown town. But uh, y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. This has been another edition of the sundown series, and I will talk to you in the next one.